The 54th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum in Swiss ski resort of Davos is uh, set to start tomorrow in midst of a complicated geopolitical environment. Let me straight take you to my colleague Vishnu Shom, who is joining us at this moment. NDTV is in Davos. Vishnu, over to you. The challenges are galore, but how is it looking in Davos? What are the preparations? Well, the preparations are on. The World Economic Forum meet begins tomorrow, but it is unprecedented. The World Economic Forum meet this year, at least for the last several years. It comes in the face of several uh, challenges around the world, whether it's the war in West Asia, whether it is the continuing war in Ukraine, whether it is global uh, economic uh, uh, instability. These are all concerns which will be looked upon over here. Uh, there are several foreign ministers who are coming over here. There's a big meeting of national security advisors from dozens of countries participating. Uh, the U.S. Um, uh, Secretary of State uh, the, uh, is, is going to be over here as well. The Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky will be over here. There will be constant references uh, to uh, trying to find a way out of what's happening between Israel uh, and, uh, and Hamas. There's a strong um, participation of the Qatari side as well. So in a sense, um, Davos, which has primarily looked at economic affairs or economic issues, in the past, we'll be looking this time around not only at the economic challenges which exist, and of course India is an outlier because of our strong growth, uh, but they would also certainly be looking at some of the other key factors which I've just highlighted. India, of course, Ankit, has a huge presence as always. Three union ministers over here, the who's who of uh, Indian industry over here. It should be an exciting uh, WEF from an India standpoint and what's happening on the sidelines uh, but certainly over here, lots of hard talk on uh, what's happening around the world. Ankit?